Hi, I'm Corey Williams, and today I am going to blow your mind. Not once, not twice, but three times. And I promise you by the end of this video, you're gonna wanna download this thing. And, and I'm not being paid uh, uh, for this, any of this. It's literally just some free beta software that I found that is just like super cool. Okay, so what does it do? Basically, this allows you to take video of just about anything and turn it into a 3D model. I would say this, it's even better than scanners that cost $10,000 or more. I'm not even kidding. Like I'm dead serious about this and I will prove it to you. So today uh, I have scanned these characters. These are my food fighter toys from when I was a kid. They're just really cool looking little army guys. Well, here, let me give you a, there he is. There's, there's one of them. He's like a cookie guy and he's just, <laughs> He wasn't from like a TV show or anything. He was just like a really cool character. Anyway, I have a whole bunch of them, a whole set. So um, I scanned them using uh, just my, my my iPhone. I just like, you know, turned, like recorded 4K and, and you know, did that. And then I uploaded the, the 4K video to the website. And in 35 minutes, it gave me back this. It gave me that. That, my friends, is not a photo, by the way, that is in Unreal Engine 5, and I'm gonna go ahead and simulate. Tell me that is not a good looking model. I mean, it looks real. Look at the details and everything. I, this 35 minutes is all it took to create this. That was it, but it gets better. That is so freaking cool. I mean, this is this is hyper realistic. It really is hyper realistic. Like I just every little edge, every little bump. I mean, this I didn't even clean this up. I I didn't do any work to this. I mean, the only thing I did was removed a little bit of the base where they were standing uh and when I was taking the uh, the video. But I, my, my jaw is on the floor. This is insane. Let's keep going. Look at the details between like the pancakes and notice how it kept everything. Even like you can't see the hole through the hand, but you can tell that like the, like see his hand there, that, that hand that's open. In photogrammetry, most of the time, you never get that. Notice, notice his shoes. In real life, his shoes were shiny. And so was his helmet. And we still got high quality uh, mesh out of that. I, I can't believe it. Last one uh, here until I blow your mind again. Uh, there's my, the, the taco guy. But this Ninja Turtle. Ninja Turtles are kind of hard to scan because they are shiny. This Ninja Turtle, this is actually my son's Ninja Turtle. This is mine, but we have the same Ninja Turtle. Uh, I scanned that in my bathroom in a light situation that I couldn't even control. It was just like really quick. I found this new new app and I wanted to give it a shot and it still gave me that even though I was in a terrible lighting situation. I, I don't even know how it managed to get that. But now it's time to blow your mind for the second time. Ready for this one? Have a look at this. That my friends is a poly pocket. Do you know what a Polly Pocket is? Do you know how big a Polly Pocket is? Let me show you if you've never seen a Polly Pocket. That character that is rotating on the screen right now is this big in real life. This is the same exact character that you are seeing in Unreal Engine 5 right now. Now, I am known for taking toys and rigging them and creating short films with toys, right? So technically, I could take that toy right there that's spinning, that little tiny poly pocket, and I can rig it for animation. And guess what? I did. So here is where I'm gonna blow your mind again. This, my friends, is a rigged Polly Pocket. 
rigged and animated. I changed the textures up a little bit because I was just doing some tests and all of that, but realistically, I could have just left the original textures because they looked so good. But, but look at that. It is moving. It is, this little tiny thing is rigged. And I, it was just like a really quick rig just to see if I could. Wow. So that is mind blow number two. Now it's time to really blow your mind. As if that wasn't enough. I'm gonna show you something now and I want you to guess how big it is in real life. And then I'm gonna blow your mind. You ready for this? All right, take some guesses. Friends, how big is this in real life? This bear. It's huge in here, right? It's huge in the game. But let's look at the details. You can see the molding. You can see it's got some uh, some scratches on the back, some uh, some some imperfections from the packaging or, or whatever it is. You know, it's bigger than a car, and 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 the detail on it is is really really good. Even down to the eyes, and the nose, and all of that. You can see its mouth. Now, how big is it? You ready for this? Wait, that. My friends, is the same bear. Can, can you even look at this? It is the size of my fingernail. Look at your fingernail right now and envision just how small that is. This is happening. This has been an impossible until now. Think about what this means for the creative community. Think about what it means for education. Think about what it means for VR. Like you can you can see bugs in 3D space. You can scan bugs. You can go get a bug collection that, you know, imagine that you know how they get, they're on the like little needles. If you were to scan one of those bugs, you can get them that big and put on VR goggles and see the bug and what it would be like if you were the bug's size. You can get things in a microscope on a Petri dish. Rotate the Petri dish, recording that video of whatever it is that you're focused on and turn it into something like that. Wow. If this has been done before, I've never seen it, but I am seeing this now and I'm just, I, my mind is blown. But anyway, um, I had to stop what I was doing with Silly Crocodile this week because I saw this as an opportunity to try something new and, and explore. And I'm really glad I did because it's just, it's, a, it's another, another game changer. So if you guys want to check out this software, again, it is free. I've been using it uh, quite a lot because uh, it's fun. Um, but uh, there, there should be a link for you. Again, my name is Corey Williams. I hope I blew your mind three times today. And I hope this helps you some way with your uh, creative projects because, yeah, this is insane. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later. This is nuts.